the key words in the title is reliable smart contact contract. So we would want to make sure the smart contract examples in the book are certainly reliable. Yeah. And I don't know if are there examples of unreliable smart contracts? I don't know if solidity, you know, I know I understand there can be bugs and stuff like that. Is there some way to, to bug proof the software or I mean, we also believe or one of the reasons why we use Haskell at, at IHK is um, because, I mean, for lots of reasons, but one of the reasons is that we believe it's much more secure than other languages. And one of the reasons for that is that it's functional. And so one of the, I mean, there are many different ways you can explain what that means and characterize it. But but one way is um, state. I mean, it's always dangerous if, if lots of people at the same time can manipulate state and it's very difficult to understand that. For example, a concrete example is in Ethereum, uh, all the accounts are state. So, so it's state, it's a stateful model. So at every second, certain accounts have so much money and then the contracts in, in Ethereum, they, they change these states. They, they take money from one account to the other account and so on. So at any, every time the state changes and it's very difficult to, to analyze it, what will happen because you, um, you can't really, um, if you want to analyze it, you you must always know what was the state at that time when that contract ran and so on. So it makes it very difficult. And with this extended UTXO model, it's uh, much, much easier and much better and um, much easier to analyze. And in the same way as Haskell is easier to, to reason about, Plutus is also easier to reason about. And so we hope that a certain class of bugs that are possible in, for example, um, Solidity, aren't even possible in, in Plutus in the same way as the class of bugs that are possible in C++ or Java or Python are not even possible in Haskell. So we hope that the security advantages of, of Haskell, that Haskell has in, to other language, that that also translate into, translates into security advantages from Plutus in comparison to more traditional smart contract languages like Solidity. Okay. Okay. I'm glad you explained that, but I have a question. Teach, I have a question. What's, what is the, uh, the basic difference between the extended UTXO and the extended? What's that little uh, UTXO? The, ex the E in extended or? Uh -huh. The extended and the classic? Yes. Yeah. Um, well, um, I mean, the difference that rel that's relevant for Plutus is that um, in the extended model, there's uh, extra pieces of data that are stored on the blockchain or in a transaction that, is, that are called scripts, which is the actual um, Plutus core code that we, um, is, that we, we write in you know, Plutus Playground or otherwise. And um, so these, um, these scripts are run to check whether transactions are allowed to spend certain outputs. And what that depends on is, is, is what the contract in the script says. So that's the general idea of how Plutus is going to be used in the UTXO model to, to implement these contracts. Okay, so the UTXO, it's just the transactions itself, but with the extended, it includes the scripts. It includes the scripts, yeah. So in the UTXO, if you can send a transaction and, you know, if it's, um, and it can spend an output, but, um, but in the extended UTXO, some of these transactions, if they're paying to or from scripts, they have to have these additional, additional to or from contracts, they have to have these additional scripts that are used to check whether they're allowed to do so. Right, so in the traditional UTXO model, if you want to grab some money from one of the UTXOs, the unspent transaction outputs, if you want to take it, you prove that you have the right to take it by proving that you have the right secret key to the public yeah. key. And in the extended UTXO model, that still works, public key, secret key, but in addition, you can also prove that you can take certain outputs by with a script. So a script is run and the script spits out uh, true or false, and if it spits out true, you can take the money. Yeah. So it, it adds the scripting, checking whether you are allowed to consume some input, um, which in the standard model is only with public key, secret key, in the extended yeah. model, it runs a script and the script decides. So that's yeah. the E extended. Yeah, so the, the script is where the contract, is, so the script is the contract and the different parts of the script that are applied to each other are the different parts of the contract that you have to write in Plutus. And actually Excellent. that idea is um, very old. That is already part of Bitcoin, but in Bitcoin, this E is a, is a very small E. There are only very limited scripting capability. But in, in principle, even Bitcoin already had that um, 
capabilities. So even in Bitcoin, you have this idea of scripts that run and check whether you can consume input or not.